VCR may be gone from under your TV set. I hope it is. <laughs> but th th those tapes are still somewhere. They sure are. And tonight we have the story of a local family that's looking for a way to save its old home movies. And they asked KTLA's Dave Malkoff for some help. Just like all of us who lived through the 80s. That's me. <laughs> Michael Madrano has a stack of VHS tapes. Big ones, little ones. For those, I still have the adapter for that. And they're all slowly degrading. And I gotta plug it into the TV. Michael. And that's my mom, Maria. Both want to save these family memories. In this movie, they were living in Alhambra. It stirs up a lot of emotion because they're not here anymore. There are some, like, great-grandparents and grandparents that have passed. There's <laughs> Grandma Susie right there. Michael looked into sending this stuff to a professional who converts tapes to, to files you can then upload to YouTube or Facebook. But each time for one tape is $20. And I have about 30 of them, so that plus tax would be over 600 That's Sabrina when she was a baby. Michael says he wants to do it himself, and these days it's never been easier. So I'd like to be able to convert that before the, the VHS tape deteriorates that we no longer have it. Now, if you're going to do it yourself, no, it's quite a project, depending on how many tapes you have. There are two things you definitely need. First, you need a VHS VCR. You can either dig one up, blow the dust off the one you have in the garage, or you can borrow one or buy a new one. They are always cheap. Problem is, these things were never meant to plug into a computer. You'll need something to act as a bridge between your VCR and your computer. It's this. It's a little video capture device. You can pick that up at the store. This end goes into the VCR. This end goes into your computer. But know that you get what you pay for. If you get the cheap ones, you might get a little bit of what we call dropped frames or bad video. But if you're looking to spend about $100 to $300, you can get one of these types of capture devices. They are on the high end. You pay a lot for them, but they're going to get you the best quality from your VHS tapes, which isn't the greatest quality in the world. We've put a code up on your screen. You can scan that code with your phone to take you to the complete step-by-step. -step. Otherwise, go to ktla.com slash Dave. Another way to do it is to put your VHS tape in the VCR, hook it to an actual DVD recorder. That's an easy way to do it. You just press record and you're done. It's like you feel yourself there with them. Videotape is the closest thing we have to a time machine. We're in another time now. And right here, the little girl, that's my sister. Julie's 26 now, part of a generation that will never know what a videotape was. My little sister loved all the Disney princesses. Each day, your videotapes degrade a little bit more. That was Lucy. The memories of big family parties fade. They don't talk to each other. Everything is texts and cell phones, that's all I see. I wish they could have met them. And um, well, what can you do? So once again, your three options for saving your old VHS tapes are save it to your computer, save it to a DVD recorder, or have a professional do it. We will explain all of that on the website ktla.com slash Dave. In Covina, I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.